everyone to Dulcie's Creations. My name is Dulcie and thank you so much for being here with me once again. So today's project is going to be another egg but it's not an ostrich and it's not a goose. It is a rear egg. Now in the introduction of the video as I start the project you will see the difference in sizes between the goose and the ostrich which is the two I mainly use and the rear fits in between there. Slightly smaller than the goose, but much bigger than the, slightly smaller than the ostrich, I beg your pardon, but bigger than the goose. So, thank you once again for being here with me. Please enjoy the project and remember to let me know what you think of, of it at the end. Enjoy. So the project we are going to start on today is an egg. And this is not the usuals I work with because I usually work with either a goose egg or an ostrich egg I go from one extreme to the other this is in between let me get an ostrich egg so I can actually show you the two sizes one moment so I've got here <laughs> I brought them all out there's a duck egg there's a goose egg that is the one I'm going to work on with today that's called a rear egg right and then the one i always use or more often than not is an ostrich egg so there you go let me just oops duck goose rear and ostrich and i've only once before once worked with a duck it's a project um well, by the time this video comes out, there's a project that would have had, was my video number 100 that I worked with a duck and an ostrich. Goose, you've seen me work with often. Aria, this is the first one that I will be working with. So, let's put away these eggs. We do not want any accidents. I'm still debating if I'm going to do any cutting. So, the idea is to either just do a standing egg like that and put it on a stand with and this is going to be with this dragon on it or I do it that way and I cut it in half open it up almost like a jewelry box and the dragon will go on the top so that is the debate I'm only going to use two colors black and gold and that's the other thing is if you do cut it in half then I've always got to put all the extra bits to finish it off nicely and I don't know if I want any more on the egg than just the simplicity of this so I think actually on that note I have already really made a decision that this is what I want now the other thing that is also very difficult is I've got to sort of heat the, the dragon up a little bit so that I can mold it to the egg but I can't do it on the egg because the egg might crack because of the heat so this is going to be a very interesting project and what we're going to do to start off with we are going to start off by painting the dragon in gold and then the egg in black and I think it's going to need several coats let's start this 3d dragon I have used it before I think you've seen me use it mainly on notebooks that I made about two years ago sold quite a few of them so maybe I should do another one and put it onto my website but that's where this oops I've just broken its tail there are parts of it that do get a little bit the when it's printing it doesn't print 100% and some parts of it are just a little bit weaker than others but so we have a 3d printer and when I say we it's the royal we it's actually my partner's printer and every once in a while I just give him a list of things to print I actually have I think three of these dragons printed so I'm not too worried about that tail because I can always just grab another one but we'll see how it does so basically I'll be giving it several coats of the gold paint because as you can imagine with the eggs going to be I want it to be a glossy black don't need oh there you go you don't need to paint the underside of it but I do need to do the sides because I don't want any of the white to show up and I have a few egg projects currently on the go and I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't do a month 
of eggs on my YouTube channel. I have a few projects in mind with crystals that I was going to do three about two months ago. I never got to it because other things just took over. So maybe I should do a month of eggs and a month of crystals. It's really four videos. So I'm only doing one a week. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then I will definitely give it another coat. Now for the egg, just thinking because I need it to be on something so that when it it's drying once I've painted it's not lying down and this way it's, it's semi secure so I'm going to get my egg sponge okay so there's my egg sponge you've seen me before when I'm decorating eggs and that I usually put it into that sponge um, this will rotate a little bit but that's okay as long as I can get it covered now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use good old-fashioned Amsterdam acrylic black I will give it a few coats and then obviously the very last one will be varnish now what I've just thought is on the dragon I am possibly going to use some gold leaf right at the end at the very last instead of being a last coat of more I'm going to give it some I'm going to do some dragon leaf oh, dragon leaf gold leaf I've never ever used gold leaf before so that should be a first I think that's going to be brilliant stay tuned right so I'm going to put you on a time lapse while I paint the egg dry and I've pl splattered a few gold specks on it except on this side because this is where I want to put the dragon and there's the dragon all done and now he's got to go there got to soften him to put him down against the egg now I'm just going to move that away slightly put that there just to soften it a little bit definitely there you go now what I need to be careful is not to crack it or anything so I don't want to force it but it is definitely bending okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on a time lapse while I heat this up because it could take a while because if I'm going to heat it on the egg I've got to be very very careful so I also want to just hold it up to see that it is in the right spot yes it's going to be in the right spot okay is 
almost finished. And when I say almost, basically, what I've done is, as you would have had seen in the time lapse, the dragon is on. It has a few little specks of the gold. I think it looks really, really good. And I love how the dragon looks. Um, and with the pressing it down and heating it, it hasn't lost too much of its color. Just a few spots here and there. So I'm just going to touch up that. And then what I did is I took, let's just put that down gently. I've taken three selenite crystals. There you go, you can see it nicely on the back, on the black, against the black. And what I'm debating now, let me just, there you go, that's a little bit better. What I'm debating is, do I just put the egg down on that? Here you go. Or do I first, and what if I do use this base, I will paint it in black and then do that. That's my debate at the moment. And I just keep thinking, does it need the extra bit? Or can it just do without, you know, just the, the crystals? That is all really that is left to do. Because other than that, it is finished. Oh no, it's not. I need to varnish it. Now the other thing that I have been thinking is, whether I am going to varnish it, or whether I'm going to take some resin and brush on it. Because I want it to have that almost ceramic shine-like finish. And I don't think varnish alone is going to do it for me. But I, I will give it a, a coat of varnish now before I even stick it down to the crystals. It will give me a few more minutes to debate whether I'm going to put it on the base or just straight onto the crystals or not. So I've decided to go with a little base. I thought it will just give it a better um, support base than just the, the selenite crystal. So now I'm going to stick these down. And all I'm using is some super glue. That's how I stuck them together. So we're going to stick that down and we're going to leave it alone for at least, I mean... Really, this is super glue. It would be a few seconds, but I don't want to mess with it. I want to leave it for at least 24 hours till it's properly dry. And as you also saw on the time lapse, I did the egg. Um, yeah, I think I'm also going to leave it till tomorrow evening because it's still a little bit sticky. At the bottom, because I'd varnished from the bottom up at the bottom where I was holding it with my fingers, the paint has come off so I'm going to need to touch that up but the good thing is it will be right it will be resting on these so no no problem there we'll just touch it up and re-varnish it it will need a second coat let me just bring it in so you can see how it is looking let's take it up so you can see that there is um a, shy, a glass to it but I want it slightly glossier than that so we'll see what another two or three coats of varnish is going to do to it so I have now totally varnished it and just put you a little bit away it looks pretty good it's got the shine I really wanted and there's the dragon the little specks I love how it's turned out so now I need to Put it on there but make sure it is straight and that's round about right I think what I'm going to do is definitely mix some of the epoxy glue the two part instead of just super glue to glue this on 
um because it just touches and very few as you can see just there it's just a slight touch of the egg on the crystals so the epoxy glue will probably be the best bet all right let's see how this is going to do There you go it is now stuck down so please do stay to the very end i'll post some pictures as always and a little video so you can see it all i want to thank you all so very much for being here with me remember to like subscribe press that notification bell so you're notified of all the upcoming projects and remember wherever in the world you might be please stay safe stay well and i will see you all very soon bye for now